Now today we'll be installing this touchscreen display for a 2016 Jeep Wrangler. Now unfortunately I do not own a Jeep, but a friend of mine does, so he'll be taking care of the installation. And a quick thank you to SciCan for sending us this radio. If you like what you see here, we'll include a link in the description box directly to their website. I have a trim removal set, which makes it really nice to just kind of take out those, those plastic trims so you don't scratch anything up. Go. Take a look right back here. That's the tab right there, and all you're gonna do is just unclip it, and the whole piece will come out. Just a quick pull, and this should come out. Relatively just pops this out, pop this out, and just be careful. It is a little tight. Slide it out. And this whole piece comes right out. I'm just gonna throw this in the back seat. So once you see from here, the whole dash is pretty much out, which is kind of amazing. And then from here is one, two, and three, and four more bolts. guys now let's take a peek under here on the back uh, there's this these plugins that you just have to unclip I can show you that right here there's one two three and four it's gonna be tough to do with one hand so uh, I'll be right back so each connector is basically goes in it's in its own slot. So there's really no foolproof way to uh, to get the connectors wrong. So this is your main one that goes to the CAN bus. Um, here's the CAN bus decoder so that it's specifically made for the Jeep. Um, you've got your antenna, your two USBs that plug into there. And then this is all for, you know, if you have a backup camera, uh, if you want to hook up Headphones, things like that, aux in, aux out, front right, front left, things like that, which I'm not going to use, but I'm going to plug it in just in case uh, later down the road. Who knows? Um, but you'll able, uh, you'll be also to be able to like if you have headrest monitors and you want to wire it that way, you can you can just use the aux cables like that. All right, guys. So here's the the new dash with the clips behind it with the new. There's the, the vent, um, and I'm gonna try to put this in as carefully as possible, try to line up the clips, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So it's in, uh, one of the clips did fall off, but the fit so far looks pretty decent. This part right here, I haven't done this part yet because it looks like you just insert this, and what holds this part down is this this whole Sakine dash, the touchscreen. So, um, so far so good. Uh, I'm gonna loot, uh, put the bolts, one in there, and the other one right in there. And we'll see how it looks. This is the CAN bus. So that plugs into there already. This will go into here to the factory loom. You got it. This one doesn't have anything. This is the windows. And this one is the antenna. Okay. So this will plug into. Oh, can you hold that? Yeah. Oh, okay. That goes into there. And this goes into. Can you plug that? So I did notice a better, I had the stock radio in there. Um, so the sound wasn't that great, but you know. Hey listeners, we're 2100. Brought to you by the 2018 Mercedes AMG E63 S sedan. Unrivaled luxury Sorry, meets unrivaled. Loud, really, really loud, but today. Mercedes AMG. Like I said, it definitely. You're on.
works. It's very nice. Touchscreen is really nice. Navigation. It's Google. I'm already hooked up. No, it's unbelievable. For the the touchscreen, the features, is very nice. The interface is pretty good. You know, I, I just gotta mess around with a little more and that's it. So that wraps up the installation. So now what we want to do is live with the radio, is easy to work with and use as you drive the vehicle, but also what the quality is like. So after a month or so, we'll come back with a follow-up, go over all, all of the applications because there are a lot of them, and also talk about the quality in terms of is everything still working, do we have any issues and that sort of thing. But until then, any questions, comments, please leave it in the description box below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.